Hey guys, Carl here. Today we're doing set 70674 Firefang. Uh, this set came out in 2019, retails for 40 euro, comes with four minifigures, and is part of the season 11 uh, wave. So let's get into review. So taking a look at the first minifigure in the set is Kai, who is essentially the exact same as his season 11 outfit, obviously, the only difference being the hood, uh, which, as you can see, take it off. Give it a closer look. It's just got like this translucent flame, which all of them have. Obviously, this one's in red because it's for Kai. So, yeah, there's not really too much to say about this minifigure. It's just essentially the season 11 one, but with a different hood. And as you can see as well, it's missing that symbol, which I don't think, which I think is in the show. It's where it's like this in the Forbidden Spinjitzu form, but yeah. Not too much to say about this, other than the fact that it also comes with a spinner in the set, which. If you know how the spinners work, you just put the minifigure in the middle, uh, kind of like that, and yeah, you just spin it like that. Yeah, they're not the most easy things, and apparently they can fling out too, so yeah, let's move on to the next minifigure in the set. So the next minifigure I have in the set is a Sphera, which is a really good looking figure. It's obviously golden too, which in the show, it's kind. she's kind of golden. As you can see, she got a staff of Forbidden Spinjitzu, which looks pretty good. Uh, she's not exclusive to say, you can get her in the Land Bounty, and I believe maybe some others, I'm not too sure. Same with the staff, it's not exclusive. It comes in the uh, other Fire Chapter and Ice Chapter sets, although I believe in the Ice Chapter it's blue instead of red, obviously. Which, if you also take off the head and the Golden Armor, you can see underneath, it's just got this like nice looking... Uh, torso print, just take a look at the back. For the legs as well, it's very inaccurate to the show because it uses the ghost uh, tail piece, I suppose you could call it, which in the show she just has normal uh, normal snake, well, yeah, normal snake legs, which is a bit weird that they have this, but who knows, maybe in like 10 years for the Legacy Season 11, we'll finally get that, but yeah, let's take a look at the next main figures in the set. So the next main figure in set is, I believe, this uh, Pyro Destroyer. Yeah, there's not too much to say about this. It's essentially uh, just a normal one of the fire snakes, which has very nice torso and leg printing. Uh, although, it falls, although because of the flames, you can't really use this as a mummy, I suppose. But just like the other ones, he has armor at the back, which is a little stud, which we actually use to connect to the main build of this, uh, which we'll get to that in the few minutes but yeah not too much to say about this so let's move on to the next main figure so the next main figure we have in the set is the pyro slayer which again the exact same thing as the pyro destroyer except instead of the armor it's just got this at the back which also attaches it to the main build of the set yeah not too much to say about this these minifigures are really common throughout the season 11 lines and i'm pretty sure you could get them in the magazines too so not exactly the most expensive figures in the world or the rarest, so yeah. Let's take a look at the main build of the set. So taking a look at the main build of the set is obviously Fire Fang, which looks really great. I kind of wish they'd do a, like a legacy Great Devourer in this style, but they probably won't. But yeah. So if you take a look at the mount, it's got this like tongue thing, which is, which is plastic. You can open and close the mount whichever way you want. Can't really move the head all too much as it's just all kind of connected like that. But as I was saying earlier with the minifigures, you connect them with these very nice translucent orangey red uh, chains, which looks pretty good. Take a look at the front as well. You have this, these like hieroglyphics, which is pretty cool looking. And on top as well, you have a throne with a sphere, which you can easily take off, but doing this with one hand. So give me a sec. Which, that's what Firefang looks like without the throne, and you can actually take off the throne as well. It just looks like this, it's not on two plane, or nothing too, uh, was different I should say, instead of plane. But as you can see here, it's just got these nice looking flags with the pyro symbol on them. The throne's pretty good, although it's an angle like this, obviously, because if you put it on, it's going to be at an angle. Take a look at the back, again, just this nice looking flame design. And if you... Move a sphere there. You can see it's got the tail, which actually does rattle. There's a bunch of studs in these, which I'm not going to open because they're just going to go flying everywhere. But basically, you just put a bunch of studs in these and you just go like that. It's like a rattlesnake, which is pretty cool. 
We also got these random stud shooters as well, which is interesting, I suppose. I don't think Firefang ever shoots fire from its tail, but yeah, I suppose it's just creative liberty. See on the top as well, it's got a sticker for like scales, I suppose. And just overall, this is a really good set. Like if you like, if this is still available, which I'm not too sure if it is. I got this for Christmas, so can't really say too much about it. But it looks really great. But also as well, before I forget to mention, there's a side build, which is, I mean, okay, it's very random. I suppose you could put this in Egyptian mock if you want, because it doesn't really scream Ninjago, unlike most other things. It's got this random staff with, I guess, a gem or a ruby on the top, which is just weird. It doesn't appear in the show. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's like, the set just wouldn't really change without it. It just seems very unnecessary to put in. Definitely something you find, like, in a poly bag or something. It's kind of weird. But, yeah, let's take a look at the instructions and the main box of the set. So taking like the instructions, there's like really not much to say about this. There's no ads this time for some reason. It's just Lego Life instead of teasing the other season eleven set, which is, I mean, weird. I don't know what's up with that. It's just a bit odd. Not too much to say. You just see like a different version of the box there, and you have the weird side build in the back that's just there for some reason. But yeah, let's take a look at the box of the set. So take a look at the box art, it's, I mean, it's pretty good, this is what you would kind of expect. Got the minifigures here as well, and just everything as well. And also, like the Season 14, the logo is going down the side, I'm not too sure if I like that for Prime Empire, I don't have any of those sets. Apart from the arcade pods, because uh, that season just wasn't really interesting for me. It's also got the Kai thing as well, where if you look at it like that, it's just a bit weird. They do that as well with the, sh uh, the Season 13 sets. It's a bit odd, but anyway, yeah. At the top, you can just call the minifigures, which is just obviously the FS stands for Forbidden Spinjitzu. And yeah, not too much to say about that either. Uh, as you can see as well, just more side of the box. Also, I can't really flip the box all too much because it will, just everything will spill out. But yeah, take a look at this. You've got this nice artwork of just all the ninja with the Forbidden Spinjitzu hoods. Just got some play features at the back of what you can do with the set. Not too much to say about that, but yeah. Uh, my thoughts on this set, it's, uh, it's just pretty good. Uh, especially if you want like a big serpentine looking build. Not too much to say about this, so yeah. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.